Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, congratulations to the nominees. Thank you for being here. Congratulations to your families. Uh, Ms. Suknanan, if I could uh, start with you. I think we've established from the recent lines of questioning that you worked at Jones Day. You were a partner at Jones Day, is that right? That's correct, Senator. And you had, how long were you at Jones Day, out of curiosity? I was at the firm for six years, Senator. Okay. You had a series of clients in that time, I imagine. Is that fair to say? That's correct. That included a series of hedge funds, global hedge funds. Is that right? Yes, Senator. Funds like Altair Global, Claren Road Asset Management, Glendon Capital Management, Nakota Capital, Oak Tree Capital Management, Ochre Rose, and Center Bridge Partners. Does that sound right? That sounds right. And you represented these hedge funds in particular during a debt crisis that Puerto Rico had in 2017. Do you remember that? Yes, Senator. So Puerto Rico had a debt crisis in 2017. Your clients had bought a series of bonds and held quite a lot of money in bonds, if I'm correct. And it's $1.4 billion. Does that sound right? Yes, Senator. Of course, other people had bought bonds too. Normal people, everyday people had, had bought bonds. And when the debt crisis kicked off, the courts froze all of the assets, all of Puerto Rico's assets, to make sure that everybody got their fair share and was paid out in accordance with the law and that normal people who bought bonds would get their fair share, right? I've got it right so far? Yes, Senator. So you, however, you, on behalf of your clients, you invented a novel claim. You filed a lawsuit under the takings clause. Is that right? That's correct, Senator. So you, you argued that the government was stealing from the hedge funds by freezing all of the funds. And if they pursued that, that course of action and didn't give your clients all of their money first, then they would have violated the U.S. Constitution. Is that right? That's not quite correct, Senator. Why, why was it a good idea? Why, why represent all of these hedge funds trying to get billions of dollars out of Puerto Rico when other everyday bondholders are left to pick up the slack? You dragged this thing out for years. I mean, you went back and forth to the circuit court other hedge funds then followed your lead. They thought that that was terrific, terrific arguments, super inventive. So then they did the same thing. So then other hedge funds piled in. The bankruptcy went on and on. Puerto Rico was forced to institute serious austerity measures, much to the detriment of their citizens, average people who don't have money for hedge funds. What, why, why, was, why is it a good idea to, to go to Puerto Rico and, and to try to get your rich clients prioritized over normal people in a way that seriously impoverished, if I might say, the citizens of the island. Senator, the legal profession is bound by a code of ethics that I think is incredibly important and that I am proud to adhere to in every case. My clients in that case- Take from the rich you know, or take from the poor to give to the rich? Is that the- is that the code of ethics? Senator, Jones Day was retained in that case to represent a group of clients. Along with my colleagues, I made the best possible arguments. Well, wait, wait, wait. Are you saying it wasn't voluntary? You represented them, right? You were lead counsel, I thought. Were you lead counsel? Senator, I was not lead counsel. I was one of many lawyers who handled that litigation. And it was involuntary? You were assigned or you, you, you chose to do it? You did it voluntarily, didn't you? Senator, those hedge funds were a client of the firm. I was asked to join the team and okay. work on that matter. Which you did. Okay. My question is why? Why, 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 is that, why is it a good idea? I mean, you can say no. Senator, my colleagues and I at Jones Day in that case made the best possible argument. Well, I know. And I, I, listen, I don't doubt, you're t I'm not questioning your, your talent. I understand why they wanted to hire you. Your talent's considerable. I'm just wondering why you thought it was important to deploy it on behalf of these hedge funds to the detriment of everyday citizens who were bearing the cost. And you invented a very, no I mean, it was very novel. Listen, I give you credit. And everybody else thought so too. That's why all the other rich players got in and said, we wanna do that, we wanna do that, and drug it out for years. I'm, I'm just wondering why you thought that was a good idea. Senator, Jones Day was retained to represent I, I heard those that the first clients. time. I'm just wondering why you thought it was a good idea. You could use your considerable talents in any number of cases and ways, means, and methods. You could have said no to representing these clients. You didn't, obviously. In fact, you vigorously defended them to the point of inventing this novel theory, which was quite successful for your very lucrative clients. I'm just wondering why. 
Senator, I have represented a number of clients over the course of my career. I have represented the government. I have represented clients. So you don't have any problem I, with this? You, stand, you think this is a good idea? You stand by Senator, it? Senator, no my regrets. job in that representation was to vigorously represent my clients, which I did. Sure, but we'd established, I think, a second ago, I thought you told Senator Kennedy that you resigned from Jones Day over a client that the firm was representing who you didn't like. Senator, that is not at all what I said. I did you didn't resign from Jones Day? Senator... I did not resign from Jones Day because of any particular representation. Oh, I, so it wasn't, a, it wasn't a moral, you had no moral quandaries? Absolutely not, Senator. I you left had no the, moral quandaries with any of the cases at Jones Day? That's your testimony? Senator, I left the firm in January of 2021 because I was offered an opportunity to return to public service. It's okay. an opportunity the firm supported and that I took. You had no quandaries with them representing in the Trump litigation. You had Senator, no problem with that. That's your testimony. Senator, I did not leave my firm because of that representation. I no left my firm. Senator, I left the firm months later because I received an opportunity to you return to public You had no problem with that, and you service. had no problem representing the bondholders. So your, your testimony is you're, you're happy to represent anybody who comes your way. Donald Trump, you bet. The bondholders, you bet. Hedge funds, you bet. Whoever. That's, that's your testimony? I just want to make sure I got it right. Senator, throughout my career, I have adhered to the code of ethics that all lawyers are bound by. Well, sure, but the code of ethics allow you to make money from anybody. I'm, I'm, listen, you can choose your clients. I'm not accusing you of any ethical violations at all. I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why you thought it was important to have these hedge funds as your clients and if you had any moral quandaries. And your testimony is you didn't have any moral quandaries, which is fine, but I just... Wonder if that's the best judgment. That's Senator, throughout my career, I have represented corporate clients. I have represented Fairly. criminal defendants. I have represented the government. Throughout my career, I am, I am proud that I you have fulfilled- Want to fulfilled say anything to people of Puerto Rico while we're here? Please let her finish the answer. Your time has expired. Go ahead. Thank you, Chair Durbin. Throughout my career, I have represented many different clients. I am proud that in every representation, I have made the best possible arguments for all of my clients. Do you want to say anything to people of Puerto Rico? 